check out this free video and make sure you hit like and subscribe. We've also got the passing of Sika, tag team legend, pivotal member of one of pro wrestling's greatest families, passed away at 79. Death was announced on Tuesday, father of five children, including Roman Reigns and late WWE wrestler Rosie. It is with uh, profound sadness I share the news of the passing of former Hall of Famer Sika Anawai, passed away peacefully June 25th, wrote uh, his nephew, Jarus Anawai. His many things, hardworking father, caring brother, supportive uncle, proud grandfather, was a cherished friend to many, loving family member whose warmth and kindness knew no bounds, inspiration to countless individuals. His legacy will continue to inspire and uplift future generations, reminding us of the impact one person's life can have on so many. Rest in love, Uncle Sika. He, of course, was part of the uh, Wild Samoans, held the WWF Tag Titles three times, WWF Hall of Fame, WWE Hall of Fame 2007. And yeah, we have been watching. It's, it's, it's amazing. We've been watching Sika in WWF in 1986 on these WWF Challenge shows. And, like, he's out there with Kamala, and they're doing the total savage gimmick. Like, they've got the uh, wizard out there, and he's he's doing these screaming, wild promos, and he's essentially explaining that they're Neanderthals. Like, they're... That's... And anyway, the point is... Savage is Brian Alvarez! Yes! But it's just, you know, it's it's just amazing because we watched it before. We started watching it several months ago. And so you're just watching this and it's like, you know, they're they're portrayed as, you know, wild, subhuman savages. And I just, you just watch it. And like, it's, it's so ridiculous. Like, it, it, it's just ridiculous. It's like the height of you can't even believe you're watching it. And then, you know, you think, wow, things were so different back then. And then, uh, you know, now I'm watching it in 2024, and they are not portraying uh, the Tongans in exactly the same way, but, you know, they are referring to them as untrained savages. They are still using that term in, in 2024. Although, you know, they they speak, you know, I think we're supposed to believe that they're, you know... But it's just criminals and thugs. I criminals and even. thugs is the way they were they are <laughs> described and savages. But yeah, watching, I mean, Sika gives it his all, dude. Sika yeah, and does. I mean, say what you will about the angles, and there's plenty you can say. But as far as like uh, you know, giving it all to a gimmick, I mean, Sika and uh, the wizard, that guy gives it his all. And uh, all of them. I mean, it's... And that was his last... Admirable, I guess. Good run. And can't fault him for that because the Wild Samoans missed that big boom period where everybody else was making money and the WWF went national. There were a lot of health issues. Their age was catching up to them. A new era was coming in. And after their feud with Adonis and Murdoch, which I just got finished watching in 1984, were these... Savages being turned on by Captain Lou Albano became the fans' favorite after being so reviled and hated in Madison Square Garden, and they're cheering them as they bounce around Adonis and Murdoch. They were gone. So for Sika to come back and get that run with Hogan, even though it was all based in the very cartoon role that we were in at that time with the WWF, it was a big deal. And his connections and the connections of Afa run deeper than people think like obviously you think about the family you think about the whole my via and and analy family but you court bauer is incredibly influenced by the samoans because that's who helped mentor him when you start taking people from around wrestling and there's a lot of them batista there's a lot of them you can draw lines right back to the samoans and a hell of a legacy that they left. I'm glad they were able to live a long time. And Brian Solomon pointed this out on Twitter, and I think this is might be sappy to some, but when you're a father, it won't be. Watching your son in a business that you were in, 
that was in many ways against you. You were going to be pigeonholed in a certain way and wouldn't make it to the top. You wouldn't make it to the pinnacle of this place that you were putting on your back. And he got to see his son, Roman Reigns, end up making it to a point that he could have never believed he could have ever gotten to. And that is an incredible thing. And I'm glad for that family and for all they gave to wrestling and for literally all they gave to wrestling with the amount of wrestlers that have gotten into it. I mean, it has got to be, it had to be wonderful to see that. You know, it also is amazing when you mention uh, Roman, that one of the things that people often talk about when they watch uh, these old shows, I remember, I remember from, from like 2000 hearing this over and over. Can you believe that Randy Orton is Bob Orton's son? Like, I always used to hear people say that. And the funny thing is, now that I go back, and maybe it's because Randy's like in his mid-40s now, but now I go back and I watch those shows, and it's like every now and then you'll see Cowboy Bob in like a t-shirt, and he'll have like a hat on, so you don't see his big, his giant hair. And it's like, golly, that is Randy Orton's dad. Brian no Pete. mistake in it. But, but the point is, every time I watch Sika, I'm like... That's Roman Reigns' dad. <laughs> like, what? That's Roman Reigns' father right there. And yeah, it's true. Like, look at look at what they had Sika do. And granted, you know, Vince, he, he had his gimmicks and everything like that. But, you know, he, he cared about the Samoans. I mean, the, the, I, I mentioned this once, and it kind of is weird when you think about it. But, like, the story of WWE over the last 40 years so involves... The Samoans more than anyone else. Even the steroid trial. Like, you go all the way back to, like, you got the wild Samoans and then, you know, all the way through The Rock being the, just running the company and then Roman Reigns and the bloodline. Like, this, the story of WWE is the story of the Samoan dynasty that has been taken care of for, like, 40 years. Yeah. It's amazing. Was it Afma or Sika that during the trial kept mouthing not guilty to the jury? <laughs> I don't know if that helped much. Uh, it, yeah, probably not. The Orton thing, though, I remember they would do those videos where they would show Cowboy Bob Orton Jr. and Randy's grandfather, the original Cowboy Bob Orton, the Big O. And he they had this thing with their faces it's almost like it's just this disgust and all three of them had it and they would show them just kind of like turning their nose up at the camera and even the the arms out thing both orton and you know his father and grandfather also did that too not to the dramatic effect that randy orton does but it's it's amazing when you see those little lines just naturally pour through somebody and it's also amazing when you don't see any of that from somebody like, and I hate to always bring this up, but like Eric Watts and Bill Watts. Watch Bill Watts, see Eric, and you go, okay, I can see size-wise how he might be Bill Watts' son, but he didn't get any of that. David Flair, another example. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that notify button, and you'll never miss a video again.